What do you think I should think? Take the job. No, come on, Deidre, really. This is funny, you know. When we were married, you never wanted my advice. What happened? We got divorced. <laughs> what do you think? Seriously. Take the job. Ten dollars, please. I'm not going for that. Why not? You haven't thought about it. The job is in Canberra. If I take the job, I'll have to leave Mum here. Mm, good. Oh, come on, Deirdre. Be <laughs> sensible. What do you think? Take the job. <laughs> I can't leave Mum on her own. Oh, all right, don't go. Yes. You're right. <laughs> You're hopeless. This is a perfect opportunity. Take it. Be positive. Do you want this? I don't know what I'm worried about if I... I might not even get the job. Oh, that's good. Mm, positive thinking. Well, I might not be able to do it. Good, good. Keep this up and they won't give you the job. Then you won't have to make a decision and you'll be back stuck in the same rut where you've always been. I'm not in a rut, but I do have a responsibility to Mum. Oh, you let her manipulate you. You think she's a helpless old lady? She's not. She's a crafty old witch. <laughs> you don't like her, do you? The real question is, do you want this job or not? Oh, you can't even answer that. Yes. Yes, I do. Then stop making excuses. If you want to go, you'll find a way. I suppose I could always take her with me. That's not the way. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want this? <laughs> On the other hand, uh, if I did go, she probably would be all right. Oh, of course she would. In the long run, it might be good for her. She'd be forced to be a bit more independent, wouldn't she? Ten points. This is probably the best thing I could do for her. And for me. Good, good. So what do you think I should do? <laughs> you just don't understand, do you? <laughs> I'll be with you in a minute. I'm just spraying these uh, aphids. We're using deodorant. <laughs> yes, yeah, so sometimes I do. Uh, usually I think a bath and some nice soap is all I need. Look. Deodorant? <laughs> Let's go inside, Mum. There's something I want to talk to you about. Doesn't the garden smell lovely at this time of the night? I'll just make us a nice hot... Uh... Uh, what was I doing with this? I'll take that. I don't want you spraying the tea. Tea! Tea! Yes, that's what I was doing. Mum, there's something I want to talk to you about. Oh, yes? Well, there's nothing definite yet, but there's a slight possibility that I might be getting a new job. I thought you already had a job. This is another job. Two jobs, Arthur. Is that fair? Some poor people don't even have one job these days. I have to leave the job that I've got now. Is that wise, with jobs so scarce? Your father never left a job, Arthur. He was reliable. He had the same job for 48 years, and he never had one day off. Except uh, when he went to the war, of course, but that was different. But this is different. You're not going to the war. It's over, surely. <laughs> I might be going to work in Canberra. In Canberra? Yes, Mum. Well, 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 I knew they had the government, but I didn't know anybody worked there. <laughs> well, they do. And this is a very good job. Press secretary. Ooh, sounds impressive. Oh, it is. It's terrific. Well, assistant press secretary to start, but there is room to move up. Yes, yes, if you work hard and study your shorthand. <laughs> no, not that sort of secretary, Mum. A press secretary. It'd be my job to tell the country what the government's been doing. They won't let you do that, surely. <laughs> That's what a press secretary does, Mum. It's his job to help the government get its message across. 
Yes, will you tell them to stop saying, um, it's oh, um, this, um, that, um. Some of them are dreadful. Mr Menzies never said um in his life. <laughs> I won't be working for Mr Menzies. Oh, never mind. There are plenty of other good men with him. <laughs> I'll be working for the Labour Party. Oh, Arthur, not that lot. They'll never get in. <laughs> what was I doing? Making some tea. Uh, haven't we had it yet? <laughs> oh, never mind. I'll make us some more. The thing is, the job is in Canberra. Oh, yes. And uh, I don't you think I'd be able to drive down there and back every day. Yes, you'd have to get up very early. I'd have to live there. Mum? Oh? What about me? I stay here, do I? Is that the idea? Oh, well, never mind. Well, that might be quite nice. What? I might quite like being on my own for a change. So silly, Mum. You know you can't manage by yourself. Yes, I can. I'm perfectly able to look after myself. I keep telling you, but you won't listen. Uh, where is it, do you know? What are you looking for? There's something to cook the water in. <laughs> We're having tea, remember? What happened to the electric kettle? Uh... It's got broken. <laughs> really? We've only had it for two weeks. Yes, well, they don't last long. <laughs> Not around you, they don't. Mum! You didn't put this on the gas again, did you? <laughs> it's an electric kettle. You're supposed to plug it in. Yes, I know that. I plugged it in, but then I had to unplug it. Why? Because the cord won't reach from over there to over here. <laughs> there you are. You can't look after yourself. If I go to Canberra, you'll have to come with me. Not every day. To live? In Canberra? You don't mean live in Canberra? Yes. No, no, I don't think so. But you'd like it. No. Yes, you would. It'd be exciting to go and live somewhere new, somewhere different. You're trying to put me in a home again. No, Mum. No, I won't go. It's nothing to do with a home. I'm talking about you and me going to live in Canberra. Together. Together? Yes. No, no. No, I couldn't leave this house. I've lived here since long before you were born. I'm used to it. I know where things are. <laughs> and I couldn't leave all my friends. What friends? Well, you know. What's the name? <laughs> Next door. <laughs> Joyce. Joyce doesn't live in there. That way, then. She's been gone for nearly two years. She died. Nobody told me. <laughs> you went to her funeral. Mum, you haven't got any friends anymore. They're all either dead or they've moved away. I've still got my neighbours. But you don't like them. No. No, they look at me in a very peculiar way sometimes. I ask them how Joyce is, they say they've never even heard of her. <laughs> living in her house. <laughs> so what's keeping you here? Why can't you come to Canberra? Oh, no. I couldn't leave your father. He's dead. Oh, yes, I know that. I'm not silly. I remember his funeral. But he's still here, in this house. And I couldn't leave him. We'll take him with us. No, he wouldn't <laughs> like that. He'd get lost. Well, Santa Claus can find you anywhere in the world. I'm sure Dad can find you. He's got no sense of direction. <laughs> he can get a lift with Santa. <laughs> no, your father doesn't believe in Santa. I'm surprised that you still do. <laughs> I knew you'd do this. I knew you'd spoil everything. Well, I had to tell you sometime. <laughs> Deidre was right. You are an old witch. Deidre said that, did she? Oh, come on, Mum. No more games. Say it. Say what? You don't want to move and you don't want me to move either. Go on, tell me I can't go. All right, if that's what you want me to say, you can't go. What do I knew you, you do this. Oh, dear, I'm just a poor little old lady who can't look after herself. Please don't leave me. I've never said that. Oh, bloody Robert! He's never said it either. No, but he keeps getting away with it all the time, dumping his responsibilities onto me, and I end up stuck here. I don't want you to be stuck here. I am stuck here. And I don't think you should blame Robbie. Oh, that's right. Stick up for him. Robert the Good. Robert who loves his mother. But I'm just nasty little Arthur who only gives up his whole career to stay home and look after you. He 
comes crawling around here once every six months with a bunch of rotten flowers. And guess who gets the big tick in the kookaburra stamp? Oh, grow up. <laughs> whinge, whinge, whinge. I'm not whinging. Whinge, whinge. That's not fair. Whinge, whinge, whinge. I'm not surprised Deirdre left you. I wouldn't want to be married to a whinging little weaky. Mum! If there's something you want to do, for goodness sake, go and do it. Stop hanging on to my apron skirts and blaming everyone else. You're weak, Arthur. Be a man for a change. Have a bit of dare. But please stop all this dreadful whinging and carrying on like a little crybaby. I'm sick of it. I tell you what I'm sick of. You! <laughs> <laughs> the trouble is, he's spoilt. <laughs> do I whinge? No. Mum thinks I do. She doesn't understand. She never did, Artie. She won't let me do something. And then she says I blame other people. And she says I'm weak. Well, it's time to show you or not. Stand up to her. I am. If there's anything I can do. Oh, can you talk to her? She should have seen you. <laughs> sure. Tell her to come to Canberra with me. Oh, I couldn't do that. <laughs> Why not? Well, it'd be cruel to move her to Canberra. She doesn't know anyone there. She doesn't know anyone here. <laughs> yes, but not knowing anyone where you live, not knowing anyone somewhere else, that's completely different. <laughs> no, Mum needs to stay where I can keep an eye on her. Do you mean that? Of course I do. Good, then you can look after her while I move to Canberra. Fault! <laughs> no, it was definitely a fault, Tony. Did you hear what I said? What are we worrying about? Of course you should take Mum to Canberra. Change the rules. She won't go. Well, it's the best I can come up with. What does that mean? That I, I have to turn down a terrific job for Mum. We all have to make sacrifices. <laughs> I thought you were going to help. I am helping. I'm helping Mum. You have to take care of yourself. Right. I will. I'm going to Canberra. I mean it, Robert. I've almost made up my mind. <laughs> now, listen. Hang on. Let's not rush into a hasty decision just because you're jealous of me. I'm not jealous. <laughs> so I'm successful and you're not. We're still brothers, aren't we? What's that supposed to mean? I'm only trying to help. Now, come on, sit down. Sit down. Now, this... this job... Have you really thought about it? I mean, really thought about it? You don't think I can do it? I didn't say that. I don't know whether you can do it or not. You've done this to me all my life. Any time I want to do something, you try to tell me I can't. But isn't it better that somebody who cares about you finds out your weaknesses before somebody else does? <laughs> I'm going to Canberra. And I wouldn't dream of stopping you. But aren't you just running away from something? What? The breakup of your marriage. You have just been through a devastating experience, Artie. You need time to recover. I think you should stay home with Mum for a while. Oh, yes. You're not yourself yet. Wouldn't it be better to wait until you're more... psychologically stable? <laughs> Bastard. Now, don't let your emotions get the better of you. Why not? So you can get the better of me again? Well, stuff you, Robert! Is this the thanks I get? I'm taking that job, and from the moment I do, Mum is your responsibility. See how you like it for a change. You ain't gonna hope of getting that job. <laughs> a little brother. You try to give him a helping hand, they bite it off. And I kept his teeth. <laughs> Now, Mum, it's me. Oh, Ruby, I thought you might have been Arthur. He didn't finish his breakfast. Is he here? No, no, you've missed him. Oh, good. <laughs> Mum? Oh, Robbie, what lovely flowers. Are they for me? <laughs> These two. It's not Christmas, is it? <laughs> no, 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 I was just passing by. I thought I'd drop in, say hello, have a little chat. Oh. In private. I'd like to keep this just between you and me. Oh, all right, Robbie. Uh, I like these sort of chats. Go on. I'm worried about Artie. Yes, yes, so am I. He didn't finish his breakfast. <laughs> has he told you about this job? Yes, he has. Whinge, whinge, whinge. 
Well, you know what Artie's like. Yes, I'm sick of it. We've got to do something. Yes, something to make him get this job and go away. Go? Yes, as far away as possible. No, Mum. Whinge, whinge, whinge. It's all he ever does. Needs a jolly good kick in the what's her name. I think it's a mistake, Mum. This is a big job. He mightn't be able to handle it. You know what Artie's like. He's got a terrible fear of failure. What if he can't cope? He might even have a nervous breakdown. I think we've got to protect him. I don't seem to remember anyone protecting you. <laughs> I didn't need it. No? Who failed medicine? <laughs> it's just bad luck. It was late nights and floozies. <laughs> I passed dentistry. Yeah, any fool can do that. <laughs> Your father wanted you to be a doctor. He was very disappointed. He was proud of me when I was a dentist. Not when you took out all his teeth. <laughs> Let's stick to the subject, Mum. Artie. Now, I've discussed it with Liz and we all agree that he shouldn't go. It's not for you to decide, surely? I'm only thinking of you, Mum. Why this sudden concern? Well, what if something happens to you and there's no one here? No, oh, nothing will happen to me. Don't worry, Robbie. I won't be a bother to you. No, no, that's not what I mean. No, I don't mind you being a bother. I like it. As long as you remember that I've got other responsibilities. Liz, Damien and Tioni, and the new tennis court. In other words, you don't want me to be a bother. No, you can be a bother any time. As long as you realise that I might not be available just at the particular moment that you want me. Whereas Artie... You is... leave him alone. But it's his job to look after you, Mum. We agreed. Who agreed? We all did. He did. Well, I did, but I know what's best for him. <laughs> you selfish little bugger. <laughs> Mum! Well, you are. I stay well away from you and Liz, so I won't be a bother to you. I wait till you come and see me. And I wait. And I wait. And I come and see you. Not as often as Arthur does. He lives here. Yes. Well, he's given up everything to look after me so that you can carry on with your toity-toity friends and never give a thought to me. Well, no more. It's Arthur's turn now. If he really wants this job, I won't stand in his way, and don't you either. I can't have patience to come here. You're not very nice, Robbie. Perhaps that's why no one likes you. <laughs> It's as well that I'm your mother, and I can tell you these things. I brought you some flowers. Yes, yes. Yes. And they're lovely. But you're still a selfish little what's-her-name. I'll see you later, Mum. No, no, you don't. You stay there and finish your breakfast. <laughs> did go. And you will. I suppose I could always call you. Regularly. Yes, but I wouldn't hear you all that way. <laughs> On the phone. Oh, yes. Make sure you're all right. Uh, does this mean you've decided? Well, almost. There's an interview tomorrow and they'll tell me then if I've got the job or not. Well, then I'll decide whether I take it. If I don't get the job, there's nothing to do to decide, is there? I suppose not. Would you like one of these? <laughs> Pity. I don't like them. <laughs> you sure you'll be all right? What if anything happens? Yes, yes, I'll be quite all right. If anything happens, I'll just run out into the street and yell for help. Unless I can't run. <laughs> I'll ring up. Unless I can't reach the phone. I'll drag myself. <laughs> Unless I'm unconscious. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'll think of something. Now, who can I give these to? <laughs> uh, you won't be seeing Deirdre, I suppose. No, Mum. Liz, then. Oh. oh, well. I think I'll be going to bed. Uh, what do you do? Yes, I'm going. Well, look after yourself. <laughs> Make sure you have proper meals and 
should have. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I thought you were going to Canada. I'm not going to Canada. Oh, yes, you are, mister, if I have to drag you. I'm going to Canberra. Oh, make up your mind. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going right now. No. Uh, we'll say goodbye in the morning then, will we? Good night, Mum. Good night. Sweet dreams, sweet repose. Half. Go on. The bed. And? Half, half the, the clothes. clothes. <laughs> yes. yes. I'm going to miss that. This toast is on the blink. I was making cheese on toast, now the cheese won't come out. Why are you doing this? I was making lunch. Do you know what the time is? Uh, it's 1.30. Yes, lunchtime. I don't know whether you've noticed, Mum, but it's dark outside. Yes, yes, pitch black. I think we're going to get some rain. It's the middle of the night. No, no, 1.30. In the morning. Oh, I must have forgotten to wind my watch. What are you trying to do, Mum? Prove to me that I can't go? Now don't shout. I thought at least you'd be nice to me on your last night. It's not my last night. I'm going to miss you, Arthur. I know. And you're going to miss me, aren't you? But you'll get over it. <laughs> You've never really been on your own, have you? I suppose not. No. When I was growing up, there were always my sisters. And then there was the war. And that was terrible, but you did meet a lot of people, including your father. <laughs> and then we got married, and then along came Robbie. And then... Uh, uh, Me? Uh, yes. <laughs> you, uh, Arthur! That's it. Yeah. And then... Then your father was gone. And then Robbie was gone. And soon you'll be gone too. And I'll be left all alone here. You're making this very difficult, Mum. No, 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 no. It's not difficult. You mustn't worry about being lonely. You'll get used to it. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. I was going to have a good night's sleep. Yes, I hope you don't stay up as late as this in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Mum. Sweet dreams, sweet repose. Half the bed and half the clothes. Oh, your father used to say that before you were born. Fancy you remembering. Good night, Mum. Sleep tight. Uh, uh, I say, Arthur, you haven't had your lunch. <laughs> You're doing a good job, Arthur. You're ironing the back. <laughs> I want to look good in the interview. Now, don't go spraying the aphids with this, will you? <laughs> What's it for? It's for ironing. Ironing, right, I remember that. Is there anything else I can do? No, I've done everything. I'm getting in the shower. There must be something I can do. Stay out here. What shirt? It's over the chair. Uh, no, no, no shirt there. I just it. Nearly ready. What do you mean, nearly ready? Uh, just about. Uh, uh, there's a mark on it. Uh, did you know? Uh, no, nothing yet. I 
I'm just uh, working. You it's... ruined it! Uh... This is my best shirt. Why did you have to touch it at all? Why couldn't you leave it alone? Look at it. I can't wear this. Uh, you could keep your jacket on. You know what you are? You're a pain in the bloody neck. I can't wait to get that job and get away from you. Uh, I say, Arthur, would you like me to iron anything else? <laughs> Oh, I'm here, Arthur. Come in, come in. I've got a surprise for you. For me? Yes, well, I thought we should have something special for dinner tonight. I've even got your favourite. Not boiled egg again? No. <laughs> no, 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 it's... Uh... Chicken. <laughs> when are you going to cook it? Cook? I think you have it cold. <laughs> Not this cold. <laughs> Why are you doing all this? Because you've got some special news for me, haven't you? How was the interview? I thought you'd have forgotten. Oh, no, I wouldn't forget anything about this. Go on. Don't you want to sit down? No, no, no. I want to hear this standing up. Then I can give you a big hug. Mum, you meant what you said, didn't you, about being all right? Yes, yes, yes. Don't you worry. And you're sure you don't mind? Yes, yes, of course I'm sure. Now, come on, tell me. I got the job, Mum. I'm going to Canberra. Lovely flowers. And tell me, these are from Robert. <laughs> yes, yes. He's coming to see me sometime. I'm not sure when. When he has the time. I've spoken to the doctor. She says there's nothing to worry about and you'll be home in a couple of days. Oh, no. No, I don't think I can go home and be on my own. Not with no one there to look after me. You won't be on your own. You'll be in Canada. I'm not going. Not now. Oh, dear. Never mind. As long as it wasn't anything to do with me. <laughs> I don't understand, Mum. Why did you keep telling me to go? Because I didn't want to be in the way. And because I'm your mother. And because I didn't think for one minute that you would go. Oh, Mum. I did the right thing, Arthur. I told you to go. Why couldn't you do the right thing and say no? <laughs> the sad part is, I thought I could trust you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 